Hi everyone, it's me Ray Ray Rambles and today I'm going to show you how you can get free merchandise for really really cheap and if not for cheap then completely free. Now this does not mean trying to convince an artist to make you something for free. No, 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 no. If any of you do that, I'm going to disown you. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but what I can show you is a couple little tips and tutorials on how you can make small furry merchandise for very, very cheap. And keep in mind, this is not for selling. This is only so that you can have a little part of the fandom. Now remember, you don't need any sort of furry merchandise to be in the fandom, but if you want it, here you go. All right, with my first tutorial, this is probably the cheapest thing on my list, and it's making cat ears. All right, so I have an example of my cat ear here. This is just one of them, so I'm going to be making the other one. What you're going to need is either foam, felt, or paper, whatever you want. Um, paper clips or bobby pins, both will work. A hot glue gun. If you don't have hot glue, regular glue or tape should work, but I recommend hot glue. Alright, so first you're going to take a piece of whatever you're going to use and cut it into a shape like a semicircle, like this. Now take a bigger piece, that's a good size, and cut it like this. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to cut this part out because it's basically just me holding down the glue. But I'm going to glue right here. And I'm going to put it like that. Alright, I wanted to spare you guys the pain of waiting for hot glue to dry because that's one of the worst parts of fursuit <laughs> making. Um, it's pretty dry, it's a little goopy still, but it's good enough. Um, as you see, there's like some excess right there, and I apologize, I have a burn in my finger, ew. But, um, right here there is some excess, you can just, oh, it's still goopy, that's alright. You can just cut that right off, and it should look like this. Next, take either your safety pin, um, not safety pin, sorry, um, paper clip, um, bobby pin, whatever you used and just glue it to the bottom. I shall show you. Now be careful with this because um, since they do have a lot of holes in them, I recommend just lightly laying one end into it and drop the other end. Then you can um, push down the edges with a scissors. There we go. Now we'll wait for that to dry. And there you go. You have a lovely little pair of cat ears. And if you don't have any hair, then you can just use um, tape instead. It might not work as well, but you know, it's all right because you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so you can just clip these right on. And I do not recommend you guys selling these. I recommend making them for like friends who don't have fursuits or whatever. But they're really easy. Um, what's really cool about the, these white ones is that you can color them however you want. You can even color them like your persona. Um, so, yeah, cat ears. Alright, so this next one is pretty similar. Um, I would say that this one, the only main difference is that it's a bit more feminine. Um, and that's okay. Anyone can make this if they want. But this is a hairpin. And basically, you need the same materials as before. You will need a uh, safety pin or paper clip, not safety pin, sorry. <laughs> um, if you have a safety pin, then you can make it into a badge if you want. But So you're going to need foam, felt, whatever you chose before. Um, a paper clip or bobby pin, like before. And this time you're going to need markers. I just have one marker, and that is just for example. And this little hairpin, we are going to be making it a paw. So I'm just going to be drawing a quick little paw design. There we go. There we go. It's not perfect, but you can tell it's a paw. <laughs> so you're going to start cutting out... Oh, I smudged it. That's all right. Don't do what I did. <laughs> um, you'll just cut out around the outside. 
And you can color it however you want to match your characters or persona or whatever. Um, there we go. And you can cut it to make it look like little fingers. I'm not going to do that, but you can like indent it right there. And typically just, you can do whatever you want. You can make like a heart with a fox tail. Like anything you want can be done. And then you just glue an, a, a paper clip or whatever to the back of it. And you can just clip this into your hair. Or you can clip it onto like a pocket. Just a little paw badge or a, a safety pin could work too. And you can just clip it right to your shirt. Um, so yeah, there's the next thing on my list. All right. So those are my tutorials, and they're actually the first tutorials I have on my channel. So I hope you like them. They're very simple, very easy, um, just a quick little craft that you can do and join the spirits. Um, now this next thing, um, it's a bit more expensive, but that's okay because um, it's actual mer merchandise. And people are saying, well, Ray Ray, if I'm in the fandom, I need a fursuit. No, you don't. You don't even need any of uh, any merch. This is just so you can get into the spirit. And speaking of spirit, who knows of the spirit Halloween stores? Um, since it's the, that time of year, this is the absolute perfect time to tell you guys that a lot of times at Spirit Halloween, they have mouth movers and they also have different headbands and tails for a lot of different animals. That's right, you can get a fursuit, a fursuit right now and it, it, it's actually not that expensive. Um, so I highly recommend that you check out the headbands and the masks. There's lots of masks that you can choose. Um, I've seen animal shaped masks, like not even the mouth movers, just like masquerade masks with like noses and ears and stuff. So I highly recommend you check that out. Um, when I was at Joanne getting some materials, I found this really beautiful, it was like, a rabbit ear headband but had like a flower crown built in and it was really pretty and it was on sale 40% off so it was only like 15 bucks which is really good for something that beautiful so all you have to do is really go to those types of stores and they'll start popping up for you like you'll start noticing hey I can use that and that and it's really good if you just want a, a quick little piece of merch you know well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I really uh, enjoyed doing those tutorials. Um, if you want more, please let me know. I know they're really, really simple. And it's okay. Um, it doesn't have to be super extreme to be, you know, nice. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all. See you later. Bye-bye.